Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Would you please welcome making his entrance to the ring from West Ham, Matthew Marsh. First ring walk outside of London for the former British Super Bantamweight champion who never lost the belt in the ring. And he's fired up to reclaim his old property tonight. He's lively, he's a bundle of energy. West Ham's Matthew Marsh, a two-weight ABA champion in his youth. He's skillful, he's capable, he's still only 27, and he might, Jim, have that bit between his teeth again. Yeah, I think he will, and the fact that he never lost this title in the ring, you have to sympathise a little bit with Matthew. Wins the title, defends it then, there for different reasons, their personal reasons, as they give up the title. But I feel he's going to have a much tougher time winning it back than he did winning it the first time, but he has a great engine and maybe it can set the pace that will take some of the smoothness away from Jason Booth but you have to realise he comes in tonight as a bit of an underdog Johnny Eames holding the ropes apart for Matthew Marsh Eames is adamant that they win this fight and now ladies and gentlemen making his entrance to the ring the current Super Bantamweight Champion of Great Britain from Nottingham, Jason Too Smooth Boom! Well, it feels like a little journey down memory lane here. Seven or eight years yeah. ago, the oh. Smooth yeah, Booth brothers were rocking no this city. Both lost their way amidst awful personal problems. But here's Jason, not only still going, but he's in the shape and form of his life. Seven straight wins, he's been collecting up domestic belts and titles at different weights. It's, it's a pleasure, Jim, to witness a quite remarkable revival in, in terms of life as well as boxing. He never ceases to amaze me. Most fighters, if they're still boxing at 32, they get a little bit fed up with the training, they've lost the enthusiasm, they're thinking about catching in and just seeing out their career. But he is the opposite, he's loving every minute of it. He says he still gets nervous before fights because he's so keen to win. And the skills he's showing and the experience and the fact that he treats him himself like an athlete every day of the week now, every week of the year. He's giving it everything and everything he's learning in the game is all coming together at the same at the one time. Tremendous little professional. Good have a tough defence though. That's at a lineup five years younger, Marsh Booth in his 33rd year, slightly the smaller man. Interesting that Marsh came in at 8-8-4. He struggled at 8-10 before. He has the reach. Natural advantage. Bigger guy too. Fresher as well. But only 14 fights Booth in his 40th tonight. And look at the knockout percentage difference there. Matthew Marsh only ever stopped one in his 14. Could be a problem that. 7-1 to one on Booth, but a lot of the Marsh team have taken that 8-1 to one on points for Marsh to come through. Good British and Commonwealth encounter. Ladies and gentlemen, Maloney promotion sponsored by CYC TGI Hair Products for Men, BBE, Stan James and Red Square Vodka. Live and exclusive on Sky Sports HD, Friday Fight Night. Proudly present 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the British and vacant Commonwealth Super Bantamweight titles. The officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control and the Commonwealth Council. Chairman for the British Boxing Board of Control at ringside, Mr Charles Giles. Steward in charge from the Board of Control and the Commonwealth representative, Dave Roden. Timekeeper the bell, Harry Foxall from Stoke on Trent. The three scoring judges at ringside for this championship contest are Phil Edwards from Preston, Howard Foster from Doncaster, and Terry O'Connor from Birmingham. Finally, when the action commences, the star referee in charge of the action, John Keane from Wellingborough. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the red corner, Wang. The Claret Club shorts trimmed with sky blue. 
at the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled eight stone, eight pounds, four ounces. He has an outstanding record, 14 contests, 13 wins. One of those wins coming by way of knockout with, ju with just the solitary defeat. He comes to the ring this evening as the former undefeated Super Bantamweight Champion of Great Britain, presenting from West Ham, Matthew Marsh. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the blue color shorts, trimmed with white and spangled red. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled eight stone, nine pounds, five ounces. He also has an excellent record, 39 contests, 34 wins, 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout with only five defeats. Tonight, he makes the third defense of his British crown. He comes to the ring this evening as the current Super Bantamweight Champion of Great Britain, presenting from Nottingham, Jason to Smooth Boo. Mr. Dean with his final instructions. 12 three minute rounds. Well, you received your instructions in the dressing room. You both know what I expect of you. Good luck, shake hands, come out boxing. Looking forward to this one. Two titles on the line. Two talented, honest domestic campaigners meeting in what could be a really gritty and tough old fashioned type of a match. The rejuvenated Nottingham craftsman Jason Booth and the quick East End battler Matthew Marsh in this competitive eight stone ten division. The claret and blue as always of Matthew Marsh from West Ham. Jason Booth, what a role he's on, Jim. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult to see and mean it that a 32-year-old is producing the best partner of his life, but he is, there's no doubt in that. Now, now Mars, excellent opponent. Uh, he's not a big puncher, but he's physically very strong and he can set a tremendous pace. But uh, it's just difficult to advise a young fighter how to go about the task of taking titles uh, from Jason Booth, because he knows everything and everything just seems to be coming together for him at the moment. Marsh, who never lost this belt in the ring, believes he is still technically the champion and believes that a sharp start is absolutely crucial here. Throws a great deal of punches, but so too does Booth, who can have a look at his opponents early on before working on the angles and unlocking the defences. Intelligent fighter move. I mean, Marsh is an excellent boxer at that long range. So if he can keep it at long range and not fall into the little traps, that Booth says, a good start from Marsh, a good lift. Left to There's a cut. A lovely shot. There's a cut, though, Jim, for Jason Booth. Just, I think, on the bridge of the nose, alongside the left eye. Not often you see Booth cut, and it was Marsh who was cut badly in a warm-up fight in December. Yeah, Booth trying a couple of uh, hooks from out of range. He doesn't usually try to start as quickly as this. I wonder maybe if that injury has knocked his plans for six temporarily. Good work from Marsh. The head clash caused the damage. Booth's so experienced who is 39 fights and 13 and a half years as a pro. Should be able to deal with it. Well, Marsh has settled pretty quickly, looking smooth, looking quick. <laughs> Visibly rattled by the injury, you can see. You're trying punches from way out of range. Good solid right hand from Marsh. It's a sprightly, lively start from Matthew Marsh. The younger man, full of ambition and hunger after his own troubles. He's fell out of love with the game. But this is the way to come back. Well, he hasn't uh, stood back to see what Booth's capable of. He's got right down to what They really looked sharp on the opening round and inflicted damage. Yeah, yeah. 
Is it? It's it's a bun. That was heads. Okay, don't worry about it, Joe. Uh, don't worry. Yeah? Don't worry. All right. Now listen, Joe. Yeah? Very quick on the counter. All right? So, so I want you to be moving on your legs now. Pick the sides. Let's go in from the angles. All right? 